Buenas, buenas noches. Si me pueden ver, si me pueden escuchar. Sí, ¿no? Se me escucha. Sí, se oye. Sí, se oye. Ay, qué bueno. Really sorry for the delay. Disculpame ahí la, la tardanza. I was just uh, in a rush. Right? Estaba, estaba como que corriendo. <laughs> Yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. So how was your weekend? How was your weekend? Fine. And you? It's really good. Mine was good. I think it was good. And how's your day? How was your day going? Uh, today is, it was. Okay. Tranquilo. <laughs> easy, easy. <laughs> Easy. And the other ones, y los demás, ¿qué dicen? Dicen no. I am great. You're doing great? It was a great day. <laughs> good. That's really good. That's really good, right? Yes, it's really good. So let's see, we are going to get started today. Vamos a comenzar el día de hoy. So, but first of all, let me give you the congrats, right? Congratulations. Felicidades, right? You have reached the, well, the last week, right? We are in the last week of this module, right? Ya estamos en la última semana de este módulo, así que felicidades a todos. Thank Muchas you. Gracias. You're welcome. So let's see, I'm going to open up my beautiful presentation. Hi, teacher. Buenas tardes. Bueno, buenas tardes, noches. So let's see. Okay. So I have here my presentation. I'm going to start playing for you at the moment. So let's voy a poner en este momento. Let's see if we are recording. Really sorry, I'm kind of to, like, how can I say? Not disorganized, but how can I say? I, I, I don't know how can I say it at the moment, but it's not that I'm disorganized. I'm just um, running out of time, right? Estaba un poquito sin tiempo, but it's not that I'm disorganized. I already have everything good, but today has been just a quiet, busy day for me, right? Un día bastante largo hoy. Good evening, teacher. Yes. I didn't, I came back from my job. Okay, go ahead. Uh, enjoy it, Alejandro. No problem. Enjoy it. As long as you are here listening, it's all right. Right. She's having dinner. Right? And for the ones that haven't dinner yet, sorry. <laughs> Sorry if we haven't dinner yet. Okay, let's get it started. So welcome. This is week number four, and this is uh, the last week of the course, right? Most likely the last four days, and today is the first day. So we are on session number five, and we are going to be talking about um, the family. <clears throat> so I have here just a little dialogue about the family, right? Uh, some pictures and so on, right? So this is such a, a quick dialogue besides the one that you have in the virtual platform. So I would like to ask two people that who would like to participate and let me know if you're able to see the dialogue as well, right? Dos personas que quieran participar y por favor déjenme saber si pueden ver el diálogo, si se mira bien. No tan bien. Sí, teacher, se ve I bien. I want to participate. Okay, so uh, who who told me that wants to participate? Who was it? Astrid. Alexander. Astrid, okay, so Astrid and Alexander. So Alexander, you are going to be A and Astrid is going to be B. So go ahead. One of those. Okay. <clears throat> you want to see a picture of my One family? Tres. Oh, hi, Martha. Yeah, of course. Oh, who is the baby? Who is the baby? That's my daughter. Her name is Erika. This picture is from her first birthday. Oh, she's good. Who are the other people in the picture? Of course. That's me in the green dress. The other people are my parents. My mother's name is Wilma and my father's name is Ed. 
Here is another picture. Here's another picture. Here's another picture. Okay. So there is a mistake there, and right? It's, yes, it's repeating double A. Double A, yes, okay. it's double A, yes. It's double A. I, uh, I recognize I recognize your you but who's the man? Who's the man? That's my husband, Carl. He is great cook. My husband's my husband's a terrible cook. Here's another picture. Who's that? That's my sister, Wanda, and my nephew, Tommy. New Tommy. Those are nice pictures. Do you want to see my pictures? Sure. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the participation. This word, right? This one, esta. It's cute, cute, cute. 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 She's cute. Cute. She's cute. Cute. Yes. Yes. Okay. Cute. Oh, she's cute. 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 Yes. And oh. I recognize you, but and that's it. Just so, so, solo esa. And the other ones, my nephew, Cherval, Cook. I, I recognize. Story. It's correct. Recognize. Yes. Recognize. 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 I recognize, I recognize you. I recognize you. I recognize you. Yes. But who's, who's no, it's muy, muy, así como que muy, just uh, the pronunciation, right? It's not too hard. It's most likely in the way that it is recognize. Mm -hmm. The meaning okay. is reconocer. Sí, te reconozco a ti, pero no al, al hombre, ¿verdad? Como en este caso, okay. no who's the male? Mm -hmm. Who's the man? <clears throat> <clears throat> Justamente, ¿quién es el chico o la persona ahí, verdad? Um, let's see, another one, just that one, it was the first one that I was able to hear. Okay, two more people, dos personas más. Dos personas más. Okay, I have a milk car and uh, Mrs. Guzman, right? It's Mrs. Guzman, right? Mrs. Guzman. Right. Yes, all right. Thank you. So go ahead, the microphones are yours. Oh. Do you want to see picture of my family? Oh, hi, Martha. Yeah, of course. Oh, uh, who's the baby? That's my daughter. His name is Erika. This picture is from her for, for birthday. birthday. Oh, oh, she's cute. Who are the other people in the picture? Of course, that's me in the green dress. The other people are my parents. My mother's name is Wilma and my father's name is Ed. Here's another picture. I recognize you, but who's the man? That's my husband, Carl. Uh, he's a great cook. My husband's a terrible cook. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> Who's Here's that? another picture. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> That's my sister, Wanda, and my, my uh, nephew, Tommy. This are picture. Do you want to see my pictures? Sure. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. This one, right? Uh, this uh, pronunciation of this word is first, right? First. Her first, first birthday. First birthday. Yes. First birthday. That's correct. That it will be the the, the pronunciation. First birthday. Um. Let's really, see. it's a baby. Um, La, la niña, la Erica, it's a baby, still a baby, right? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Uh, this one, my husband's ter a terrible good, my right? Husband. Husband's a terrible good. Este es solo la contracción de 
my husband is. Entonces, eh, hay que hacer la pronunciación de la S, ¿verdad? My husband's terrible cook. Then, um, another one, let me see. Uh, Reinterest, my parents. Eh, tengamos cuidado, porque a veces les escucho que me cambian un poquito las, las, las letras, entonces cuando te dicen her, me dicen his. Entonces, hay que tener un poquito de cuidado. Este es her, her. Her name, right? Her, Her name, name is Erica. And otra vez con las S, ¿verdad? Um, veamos, that's my husband car. Recognize him in our picture, right? So, esas serían todas las que puede escuchar hasta el momento. Besides that, everything really good. Okay, we are going to stop here with this activity because I have something else that I would like you to do. And this is what we have. It's your turn. Talk one minute and 30 seconds. Vamos a hablar un minuto y 30 segundos. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. Um, six minutes. If you need it more, you let me know. Les voy a dar six siete minutos. Si necesitan, um, en este caso, uh, más tiempo, me lo dejan saber. Entonces, um, second. All right. So um, this is what you are going to do. You are going to talk about your family. How you are going to talk about your family in one minute and 30 seconds. I need that you can go ahead if you want to write it down several sentences about your family. For example, I have two cousins, uh, my aunt and uncle are in Chalatenango, for example. I have three brothers, two sisters. They work, um, for example, one is a doctor, the other one is a secretary. You tell me, right? It's your ideas about your family. The main aim is to talk one minute and 30 seconds, right? And you're going to introduce your family. It can be your family, your husband, your child, um, your wife, anyone, right? Uh, that you consider as a family, not only um, that you're going to see my parents and so on, but you can go ahead and include as many people as you want to. Eh, puede incluir tantas personas como usted quiere, puede hablar solamente de, de su familia inmediata, su esposa, sus hijos, eh, con quien usted vive tal vez, este, puede incluir a su papá, a su mamá, a sus primos, etc. ¿verdad? A quien sea, el main aim es hablar un minuto con 30. Y me va a decir, teacher, pero entonces no voy a tener tanta información real. It doesn't matter. Um, you can go ahead and make it up. No importa, puede hacerse la inventada, ¿verdad? Si usted no quiere hablar directamente de todo lo de su familia, puede inventárselo. El main aim o el, en este caso, el objetivo principal es hablar un minuto 30 segundos. Entonces, ¿les parece si les doy? Bueno, aquí tenemos somos las 7. Las ocho con quince, and uh, we can go back at 8.20. Is that okay? Do you think it's a fair time for you to prepare your presentation? Think que es un tiempo bueno para que preparen su presentación? ¿Se puede? ¿No se puede? Good enough. Enough? Yes? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, it's enough. All right. Yes. So at 8.20, we are going to get started. A las 8.15, vamos a comenzar. So a las 8.20, perdón, vamos a comenzar. Go ahead. Take your time. If you have any question, I'm here. Let me know. It's your turn. Okay. Hello? Yes, I'm here. Tell me. Alguien con una pregunta, no? Tell me. Mm. All right. Yes. All right.
Teacher, I have a question. Yes, tell me, I'm here. Um, how can I say ama de casa? How you can say I'm sorry? Amaca, or how? Ama de casa. Ama de casa. Ama de casa. I'm housewife. Housewife. Sorry, uh, I was not able to hear you. Housewife, yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. The chair, I have a question. Dígame, aquí estoy. Tell me. Empleado is employee or employer? Employee. 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 Okay. Sí, con una doble E al final. Okay. Employee. Employee. Yes. Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. Teacher. Dígame. I have a question. Tell me. Eh, yes. Hermano menor, como se dice. Ah, that it will be the big sister es la, la grande. It's that it will be the little sister. Eh, little sister. Little la menor. La little, sí. Ok. Yes, a little sister. O sea, her, ok. ¿Qué es relation? ¿Es relationship o only relation? Relation in how, <clears throat> how, how is uh, and my husband and, and I? Um, yeah, you can say a relationship. We got a relationship. My husband, oh, yes, it dice, can be a relationship. ¿Cómo se dice ganadero? Ganadero, uh -huh. mm, en ese caso. Ganadero. Yo lo asociaría con un vaquero, pero no sería un vaquero. Let me check. Yes. Is this person is related completely um, to the. Está relacionado con los bovinos. Vamos a ver. Regálenme un segundo. So the livestock farmer, rancher, cattleman. And yo diría que lo ponga como farmer, como un granjero, ¿verdad? que pues hace de todo. Si no sería un cattleman, sería así. Vamos a ver. Cattleman. Cattleman. Pero mi recomendación es que como lo, que lo dirija a Farmer mejor. Esa okay. sería mi recomendación. Sí. Okay. Cattleman. Yes. You're welcome. All right. Sir, ready? ¿Están listos? Yes, ready, no ready? Yes, teacher. Yes? All right. So, who would like to do it first? ¿Quién le gustaría hacerlo primero? Me. Me, Leslie. Who? 
Leslie. Sí. Yes. Go ahead. So go ahead and your time like this. Ah, I'm not able to see it. But your time starts now. Comienza. Hi, my name is Leslie. And my mother's name is Leila. He's a nurse. My father's name is Sebastian. He's a driver. And I have one little sister. Her name is Jennifer. My pets are two dogs and one parrot. Solamente. All right, so we make 30 seconds. So this pronunciation, when you say that uh, it's a nurse, she's a nurse, right? She's a nurse. She's a nurse. Solamente es that she's a nurse. Thank you very much, Leslie. Thank you for being so brave and be the first one. Thank you. A plus is You're welcome. Okay. Who else would like to go ahead and participate? Me, Me Alison. Go ahead, Alison. Your time. Okay. Hi, my name is Alison. I live, I live with my family, my daughter, and my husband, and my father in law, and my dog. You know, um, my daughter is nine years old. She is so cute. Not it's only because she is my daughter. No. I know she has a great um, knowledge and she always learns something new. And right now she is learning English because she like very the future she, uh, she would like to learn about uh, French. Uh, my husband, my husband is my support right now. She, he only works and uh, he works at call center and I would like to work in a call center too. Um, my, my, I am, I am, I am Alicia, I am 27 years old, and right now only started, I started in the morning and then at night, only that. Only that, good job, thank you very much, thank you very much, one minute and one, thank you, very good job, <clears throat> thank you, I was able to listen in well, you got a good pronunciation, Alison, thank you very much, a plus is for you. So Elizabeth, you're the next one. Go ahead. Uh, um, hello. Uh, I am Elizabeth. I'm 32 years old. I'm the study computer science and work as freelance and making blueprints and 3D models as a professional service. Um, these uh, years uh, I was in Crowder to start studying at you know, university. Uh, I am someone we kept and studied and learning constantly. Um, even though is, it is enough at, at the university level, uh, I'm learning modeling in our self down way um, and also the computer and programmer. Um, uh, I have two, uh, two, two children. My daughters, um, Valeria and Fernanda. Valeria is my older daughter. She's eight years old. She the second grade is a uh, very smelly and a happy girl. Um, she likes to dance and ballad and sing. Her favorite song is something just like it. And I see it every day. Um, Fernanda is my youngest of my daughter. Uh, she is five years old. Her birthday was uh, a week ago. She's very energetic, uh, but she also has uh, her moments where her delight to be alone. She still uh, cannot read, but it's, it's kind of to find her the looking of the page of the sunbox. Uh, she is a spectacular baby. Um, she say she can do everything and I believe in her. Her favorite color is yellow, yellow Pikachu. Uh, <laughs> she likes alcohol some flowers. Um, uh, her eyes are colored um, and brown. 
she like the skinner and very small mm. she is angry but, but is lovely okay mm. Mm. Solamente. Solamente. that's it all right so two minutes and 43 seconds really good um just with the pronunciation of daughter right it will be daughter 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 yes daughter. and the word ener ener energetica is energetic energetic okay. energetic yes energetic Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. Pretty good job. So then we have uh, Jennifer. Jennifer raised the hand, right? So go ahead, Jennifer. Then we are going to have uh, Alejandra. Then we are going to have Anna. And after that, we are going to have Astrid. So go ahead, Jennifer. Your time starts now. Hello, my name is Jennifer. I'm 20 years old. I posted my studies at the university. I have a grandmother, two brothers, two cousins, my uncle, my mom, and my aunt. My big brother has 22 years old. Uh, he studied at Don Bosco University. My little brother studied at Itexal. My mom is display, and my uncle works at the airport. One of my cousins studies nutrition. And my big brother likes K-pop music. And my little brother likes football. That would be it? Yes? Eso sería todo? Sí? Yes? Yeah. All right, so thank you very much. At the moment that you were talking, I didn't hear any pronunciation, error pronunciation. Everything was good. Thank you very much. Pretty good job. So let's see uh, who you, was next. You. You'll work again for pretty good job. Alejandra was next, right? And after, um, after Astrid, we are going to have Anna. And after Anna, we are going to have Alexander. So go ahead, Alejandra. It's your time. Okay. Um, good night everybody um hello my name is alejandra i'm 23 years old and i'm going to introduce my my family with you guys well first of all um i live with my parents and one brother and one sister um my my um my father work every day he's the boss of my house and my mother, uh, she is the housewife. And my brother, he's a math teacher. He has a lot of talents because she likes to sing and uh, he likes to draw. And my little sister, he's a math teacher too. Um, and also, I have to see her more, but they live in another place. Um, I'm very uh, proud of my my family because we um we help us <clears throat> each other, and also um if we have travel if someone of the family has travels, um they my parents give us the support of my brother and sister. And let me see what else. <laughs> um, and also I'm a receptionist. Uh, let me see. Ah, my sister, uh, she can um, speak a little bit English. And yes, that's that's stuff. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, almost two minutes. I do really appreciate it. it. Was really good. I was just listening that you said that your sister, um, he, she or he, he is something. But I don't know if it was just my hearing or something else. But just be careful whenever you you meet. Uh, if it will be sister or brother. The next one has to be exactly the correct uh, personal pronoun. ¿verdad? No sé si fue, fue mi oído o, o algo más, ¿verdad? que no escuché bien, pero escuché por ahí que me dijo sister y luego le escuché un he. 
y me quedé un poquito sí, eh, pensando. Sería, um, I have Ajá. my brother and my sister, the both, uh, they are math uh, teacher. Both of them are math teachers. Oh, yes. I see. They are for math that reason teachers. I say, uh, for that reason, I say he is a math teacher, and then I say uh, she is math teacher, my oh. little sister. Oh, I heard, I heard the other way around. I'm sorry. No, yo escuché mal, lo siento. Pero si era solo eso. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for clarifying that to me. Besides that, I didn't hear anything else. Pretty good job and excellent pronunciation. Muy buen trabajo. Excelente pronunciación. Applauses for you. Thank you, Alejandro. So let's see, uh, Astrid, tell me. Tell us about your family. Okay, guys. Good evening, and I live with my two parents and my little brother. <clears throat> Before I lived with my two brother, but he decided to go out the, go out of the house. And my mom is a lawyer, and she is 44 years old and works in a court. And the same time, my father is 48 years old. And he works an employee in a Termin Cohibles factory. Um, my family is big <laughs> because I have four dogs and Brandy, Rocco, Romy, and Princesa. And in in the same time, I I have a nine cat because my mom loves the animals. <laughs> yes. And each one of them have names. I am a student in university career, uh, although some, uh, sometimes it's difficult with them because everything are terrible, a lot. Yes. Wow. Only that. Only that, okay. Thank you very much. Besides, I didn't hear any error from the pronunciation as well. Thank you very much for the participation. And wow, that's a lot of friends, right? Yes, it's some bastantes mascotas. That's a lot. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's a lot. A lot. I, I have a, a, a advantage. Okay. Because my house is big. <laughs> oh, that's good. So if you have a big house, that's <clears throat> awesome. Yes, but that's amazing. Are, a lot. <laughs> yes, there are a lot. So thank you very much. I do really appreciate it. So we are going to have Anna. Then I have um, Alejandro. Al Alexander, and then I have Amilka, right? I'm always messed up with the name of him, right? Uh, don't worry, Alexander. Uh, I have a friend that his name is Alejandro, so I just relay the names, right? Alejandro, I will relay the name, sorry. So then we have um, Alexander, and then I have Amilka. Go ahead, Anna. Okay. Hi, my name is Anna, and I am 43 years old. I am a kindergarten teacher. I live with my husband and my kids. My son is 21 years old and my daughter is 15 years old. My son loves video games and my daughter loves K-pop. We have two cats, Neblina and Manchis. Uh, my son and my daughter are very good students. I don't have any problem, thanks God. Uh, my son will graduate uh, this year at Gavida University. I'm so proud of him. And my parents live in Jacarandas, near Lourdes. They are Ana and Salvador. I um, try to visit every weekend because I love to spend time with, with my mom and my dad. I have one sister and three brothers. I am in the middle. And I have many nieces and nephews. My oldest niece is 22. My younger niece is one year old and she lives, she lives in Poland. I have a very big family too. And we have family members in many countries like USA, Nicaragua and Poland. We try to keep uh, the relationship as a family, uh, even if we have a, a distance. Only that. Thank you very much. I heard Poland, am I correct? Yes. Did I heard Poland? Wow. Yes. <laughs> super away in the other side yes. of the world, right? Wow, that's too far away. 
Thank you yeah. very much for sharing a part of Thank your you. family with us. Thank you. So I didn't hear any error on the pronunciation. Thank you very much. Uh, besides everything, everyone's participation has been really good. So you got to be proud of yourself, right? That you are doing good. Thank you. Uh, but, bueno, con todas las participaciones que he escuchado hasta este momento, todas son muy bonitas, todas me han parecido bien. Eh, tienen que ser ustedes más seguido, ¿verdad? En su caso hablar en que esos tres solitos y tienen muy buena pronunciación. Siéntense orgullosos de ustedes mismos de lo que han alcanzado hasta este momento, ¿verdad? Sí. Así que veamos a Alexander. Después de Alexander tengo a Milcar y después tengo a Annie. Go ahead. Your time, Alexander. Okay, thank you, teacher. Well, um, I live with my, my mom, my brother, and I have two dogs. Um, I am a teacher. I have a major in, in education with a specialty and basic education to teach on um, elementary school. Um, my mom is a teacher too. Her name is Janira. She's a math teacher. She works in a public school. Uh, my father is a chemistry, chemistry teacher. He works on college. And my brother is a student. He studied in college. His name is Rodrigo. And I have another brother. His name is Josue. Um, Rodrigo is going to be a teacher but for basic school. And I don't have kids, but I have two dogs. Their name are Max and Floyd. And they are my kids. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, this is the only work. It's basic. Basic. Okay, basic. Teacher. Basic. Basic. Yes. Basic education. Yes. So a family of teachers, right? Family of teachers yes, there. I admire everyone that is telling me that they got brothers or sisters that they teach math, chemistry, or mom and dad, right? Because for me, when I was studying, those were the worst subjects for me, right? I'm not good at math, not good at chemistry, not good at anything. So I admire everyone that likes that and really teach that, right? Because it's not easy at all. So my congrats for you. And that is the only work, basic, right? Basic. Thank you. So thank you. Let's see. You're welcome. So let's see. Uh, thank you for your participation, Alexander. Let's see. Uh, Milkar, go ahead. Your time. Okay, teacher. Good evening, teacher, and good evening, classmate. Uh, my name is Emilcar uh, Alejandro Escobar, and I live in San Salvador. I am 48 years old, and, and I'm going to speak about my family. I have a sister and two brothers. Uh, my little brother is dead. Uh, my sister has three sons, three sons, and she is married. My sister lives in, in Cuscatancingo. She works in a factory. Uh, I am married. Uh, my wife and I work together. Uh, we work uh, and we are a happy family. Uh, my wife and I works in a factory, in a, in a bakery. Um, every Sunday, go to church. Uh, my sister's name is Roxana. Uh, my mother's name is, is Julia. Uh, she is a house, housewoman. I visit my family uh, very often. Uh, we sometimes eat at my mom's house, and she is very happy when, when we visit her. Um, Everything is all for me. Thank you, teacher. All right, thank you very much for your participation. So the I was able to hear that you say that your wife and you, you work in a factory, right? So be careful when you are talking about day. So when you are talking about day, remember that it's going to be a stop sound in the verb, right? Work, work. Because if you add at the end the S, it's going to sound like day works. 
Entonces, así no se, podría, no se podría decir, ¿verdad? O cuando estamos hablando de nosotros, recordemos que en estos vamos a tener una stop sound. They work. We work. We work. ¿Verdad? No, no podemos agregarle la S al final. Eh, sí está muy bien. Todo excelente. Solamente eso. Escuché algunas S por ahí donde no iban. Pero solamente eso. Gracias, Amilcar, por su participación. Okay, Good job. Continue improving. So, let's see. We got Annie. Annie, go ahead. Your time. Hey, hello, my hello, my name is Annie. I am 30 years old. Um, my family is big. I have one brother. His name is Juan. And I have three sister, sisters. Their names are Reina, Marisol, and Roxana. My parents live in Chalatenango with my brother, Juan. My brother's name, my name, my mother's name is Karina and my father's name is Juan. My, my mother is housewife and my father is farmer. My big sister has two babies and my, and my soul also has two babies and Roxana is single. My my little my little brother will get it my with with will get married next month. That's good. That's it. Thank you very much, Annie. Pretty good job. You did a good job describing your family. Thank you very much for sharing. I just uh, want to recommend it to you uh, that if you're going to do the reduction, exaggerate the S, right? Because when you were telling me about your family family, or um, in this case, a mom's uh, name, uh, dad's name, I didn't hear the S. I just heard his, right? Or uh, he, a farmer. Entonces, solo exagereme un poquito la S para poderle hacer, para escucharle un poco mejor, ¿verdad? He's a farmer. That will be it, but besides that, everything is okay. Pero aparte de eso, todo está muy bien. So, applauses for you, pretty good job. Thank you, Annie, for sharing with us. Thank you. So, let's see, Sarita, go ahead. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Good evening classmate. Sarita. My nombre es... My name is Sara. I have 29 years old. We live in Mexicanos. I have, este, my mother has 81 years old. Her name is Teodora. I have two daughters, three brothers, and five sisters. My husband works in Sensuntepeque. My father died. 11 years ago, I have a beautiful new one. One, two years old, and another who will turn one on February 28. My young brother was making solar and aluminum windows. I work as a dressmaker, and I like it a lot. I love you all. We are a great family. Eso sería todo. Thank That's you. it. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. So, thank you very much. Thank you, Sarita. So, let's see, Sarita. Uh, we will need to practice just a little bit of the numbers, right? I do understand that your mama has 81 years old, right? Yes. Yes. So, yes. let's remember that it's going to be 81 years old. And then we have in your age, it is. Uh, 49 or 39 or 29? 29. Which is your age? 29. Yeah. Okay. So this one, it will be your age. So be careful as well with this one. Sorry, those are my neighbor's ducks, right? And they sound such shit, like if there will be big ducks. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So be careful just uh, with the numbers, right? I do understand that you're your son works, uh, they work uh, something with uh, related to glass and aluminum, am I correct? El, el, su hijo trabaja algo relacionado con el vidrio y el aluminio? Yes, yes? My, si, yes? my brother. All right. 
Your brother. Oh, your, your brother. brother. Oh, I'm sorry. I heard something. Oh, your brother. brother. Your own brother. All right. Your brother. So that will be it. So we will need to continue practicing right pronunciation as well. I'm going to send it to you something that I was planning to send it long time ago, but I couldn't find the, the link. It's a link in the one you can go ahead and practice, uh, place the, the sentence in English, right? And it will read the sentence for you. Ese, ese link, usted puede poner la, la oración y le va a leer la oración y le va a dar la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Es un aproximado de la pronunciación para que usted lo pueda tener y siempre continúe practicando. I will send it to you tomorrow in the morning. Mañana en la mañana se los voy a enviar. Thank you, teacher. Right? So let's see that. You're welcome, Sarita. Thank you so much for sharing with us, for participating. Um, besides Sarita, there will be someone else that who would like to participate. Alguien aparte de Sarita, alguien más que le gustaría participar o si no, let's go to the... Oh, Briselda. Let's go ahead, Briselda. Go ahead. Uh, good night. My name is Griselda. I have three years old. I have two child, um, a daughter and a son. My son has four years. It's a baby. He's very interesting and my daughter has nine years. She is very tall and and her skin is is, is white. No, como se diría, perdón. <laughs> es es sí. blanca. Ella es blanca. Ella es blanca. Ajá. Uh -huh. Oh, she has white skin. Hey, hey, white she skin. Has white skin, okay? She has white skin. Okay, um, I'm not married, but, okay. but I live with, um, with my boyfriend, se podría decir. <laughs> um, oh, you live with your boyfriend. Yeah. Okay, let's say fiancé, right? Your fiancé, your fiancé, okay? okay? Your fiancé, okay. su prometido, su prometido, uh, okay. right? <laughs> um, I work, um, I am secretary. Uh, I work to Monday until Friday, and I love my job. Hmm. Actually, I'm la I live only with my child and my husband, no prometido. Yes. Um, your husband, you can say your husband. Okay, your I, husband. I can say my husband. Um, we are... Um, um, a family, um, a little family. You're a small family, right? A small, small family. family. Small, small family. family. Yes. Yes, I have a three oh, brothers and four sisters. Okay. Is is uh is that is a a big family? <laughs> that's a big family. Okay. Yes, uh, that's it. All right. That's it. Okay. Thank you very much, Zelda. I do really appreciate it. Thank you very much. So the only thing that I'm able to see there, right, that you're missing just a little bit of connectors, but so something just to work. Besides that, everything is fine from me. I was able to hear you well. Good job. Applauses for you. Okay. Applauses para usted. Gracias por participar. So let's see. Um, someone else or no one else? Me. No one else at one. Go ahead, Nubia. Go ahead. Good evening, everyone. My name is mm. Nubia. I am an auditor. <clears throat> My parents are at Huachapan. I was born in Huachapan. I have one brother and two sisters. I am married. My husband works in a bank. We have three children. We have two, two sons. Uh, their names are Anderson and Jefferson. And, and we have one daughter. Her name is Hazel. We live in Huachapan. We also uh, have pets. They are two dogs. Only that. 
Thank you very much. Pretty good job, Novia. Thank you. In everything that you said, the pronunciation was good. The, as well, the order of the sentence was good. Good job, Novia. Thank you very much. Okay. Bien hecho, Novia. Estaba muy bien ordenadito y lo pronunció muy bien. Gracias. Thank you. You're welcome. Someone else that who would like to participate at one? Sí. Someone else that who would like to participate at two? Me. Who said me? I'm sorry. Amalia. Go ahead, Amalia. My, bueno, my name is Amalia. I am married and I have two children. I girl and a boy. My son's name is Matias. Have 10 years old. My daughter's name is Leah. I have uh, just four years old. My my parents like with my four sister. I have five nephews. Uh, my husband like system analyst. I have a good family relationship. Thank you so much. That it will be it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Just the only thing uh, with H's, we are going to use verb e, right? Con las edades, nosotros vamos a utilizar el verbo be. En este caso, eh, si nos vamos a referir a alguna edad de alguien, por ejemplo, um, I am 30 years old. Or um, he is 20 years old, for example. Yes, de 20 años. Entonces vamos a utilizar en este caso con las edades el verbo be. That. Vamos a utilizar el verbo be. Just that. That it will be the only thing, Amalia. That it will be the only thing. Okay. Thank you very much. You. You're welcome. So we have uh, Marta. Go ahead. Hi, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Hi, my name is Marta. I live in Ataco. I have three siblings, two sisters and one brother. In my house live my mom, Luz, my son, Alejandro, and me. Ah, y a mi dog, Dobby. They are fantastic. Finish. <laughs> All right, not a problem. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Una muy buena participación. Eso es lo importante. Participar no importa el tiempo que usted le tome. En lo que me dijo, in what you told me, everything is good. I didn't hear any error of the pronunciation. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. So we are about to finish the class. I don't know if someone else would like to participate. If not, let's go ahead and take a look what we have for today. Okay. Okay. Sure, I want to try. So let's see. Go ahead, Church. Your time. Okay. Good evening, everybody. My name is George Herrera. I'm from Costa Rica, but I live in here in Salvador. Um, I have a uh, one big family. My wife, two daughter, and, and many cousins with me. Uh, cousins, sobrinos. Primos. Primos. Sí, yes. primos yes. 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 Um, every day we get up very early for go to to job, and my two daughters, they are a student. My wife and me, we work together in the in the um, San Luis Talpa little town in this country. Yes, it's very hot there, and and I like to to read the Bible, to gospel. I, I, I like to, to share the gospel with the people here. These all works. Thank you very much, good evening. Good night. Thank you for your participation, George. I do really appreciate it. Thank you very much. It was a real good participation. What you said was really good to say. And I didn't hear any error in the pronunciation. No escuché ningún error en la pronunciación o en el orden de las palabras. Thank you Teacher. very much. Uh, I I heard. This is three. I heard. Yep. Okay. Um. Uh. uh 
a word, but it, uh, uh, but I don't know it's correct. For example, uh, my wife and me, it's correct or my wife and I. What is the, the correct sentence? You can use either or. Um, Puede utilizar cualquiera de los dos. Eh, my wife and me, yo y mi esposa, o oh, mi esposa y yo, ¿verdad? Puede ser cualquiera de los dos. Ahí dependiendo a lo que se está refiriendo. Uh -huh. La verdad es de que ambos se utilizan para lo mismo. La diferencia es bien, es, una, es una línea bien, bien mínima. Entonces, por lo general es algo que, que se utiliza así, ¿verdad? Either or, my wife and me, or my wife and I. Either or. Okay, thank you. No hay ningún problema. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's a little bit of 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 a little de of a little bit 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 of the family bit of a little 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 Y también descubrí lo que es el presente continuo. Entonces, solamente nos quedamos con los quantifiers. Ok, um, about the quantifiers, they are pretty simple to use. The only thing that you need to remember and what we are going to have a recap for tomorrow, it is uh, about the nouns, right? Um, nouns that we can use as a con count or non-count nouns. So, that is something that you need to keep in mind whenever you are going to use quantifiers. Vamos a hacer un poquito de recap acerca de los nombres o de los nouns con lo que sería respecto contables y no contables. Porque cuando utilizamos quantifiers, hay algunos quantifiers que son para contables, hay otros que no son para contables, and there are some other ones that you can use uh, with, the, with the noun and other ones that are followed by a verb. Hay unos que van seguidos de un nombre y hay otros que pueden ir seguidos solamente de un verbo. Entonces, vamos a ver esas dos diferencias. Pero para mañana, um, in the very first class, we are going to see that difference between um, I or me, right? Using in a sentence. And as well, we are going to check uh, the discussion that we had last week on Thursday. And we are going to go to the quantifiers. It's a night o'clock already. Eh, ya son las nueve de la noche a este momento. Gracias a todos los que participaron. Es una actividad bastante interesante porque se les da la oportunidad de que ustedes hablen, ¿verdad? no solamente mí. And I do really appreciate your effort and congrats, right? Y felicidades porque lo están haciendo muy bien. Before that we go, any questions so far, any comments so far? Antes de que nos vayamos, ¿alguna pregunta, algún comentario? ¿Alguien? Nice activity. Nice activity, right? You like to talk. Sí, es yes, bastante bueno que puedan like. hablar. <laughs> yes, it's really good that you can talk. Yeah. Si ustedes quieren al, alguna vez este, doing it or send me any type of audio that you want me to listen it, envíenlo. ¿verdad? Si quieren enviar alguna especie de audio que quieren que les escuche, de lo que ustedes quieren hablar, ¿verdad? envíenlo. Por mí no hay problema, oh, yo se los escucho y les hago las correcciones pertinentes. ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Because it, uh, thank you. Teacher. You're welcome. Really yes. Mande. Alguien más. Hola. 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 That this activity uh, is very good because we can practice our pronunciation and also we can reach our vocabulary. That's true. Yes, by talking you can get more vocabulary, uh, get a better pronunciation and everything. So either or, right? Like I said, if anytime you want to send something, go ahead and send it. I'm available in the morning from noon to 7.30. Unfortunately, I'm sick working. So uh, from 7.30, I'm here, I'm here with you. And from 9 p.m., I'm free, right? So at those times, I'm able to go ahead and answer really quick. So take it in consideration. If you want to send something right like that, that you want me to listen in and give you like a kind of feedback, okay? So if that will be all, so that's all for me today. Thank you so much for coming to the 
this meeting that we have today and have a wonderful day. And I hope that yesterday you take a lot of chocolates, right? Take care. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Thank bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. It was a pleasure to hear you. Thank you very much. For me too. You're welcome. Good night. Good night. Take care. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.